Now the family on a crusade to change the law. They're calling for accused criminals to be kept behind bars when a victim's body isn't found after the man who allegedly helped cover up their daughter's alleged murder was granted bail. She would be 37 in two weeks. Yeah. I know it's hard, but it's like... <laughs> I can't eat. I can't sleep. She didn't deserve it at all. Not like this. It's a pain very few families will ever understand. A pain Susan Hamka and son Hassan have lived with for 237 days. I just want her home to put her in peace. That's all I want. We want to bring her home and put her to rest That's our way. Want. Not on anyone else's terms, but on our terms. We first met the Hamka family in June when Mariam disappeared. Her body has never been found. It's like living a nightmare every night. Susan says she last saw her daughter when Mariam's former boyfriend, Toby Lofnane, allegedly picked her up from her home in Melbourne's Brunswick on April 10. A memory Susan says has haunted her ever since. I see how every night in my dream, she asked him for help. 41-year-old Toby Lofnane has since been charged with murder, while his friend, pool maintenance worker Oscar Newman, has been charged with assisting Toby, accused of helping him conceal the crime. Police allege Marianne was murdered at Toby's Brighton home on the morning of April 11. At 1.15 that afternoon, Oscar allegedly visits for five minutes. The next day, Oscar's accused of loaning Toby his red Mazda, which Toby is allegedly spotted leaving in the following morning. Police claim with Mariam's body on board. Two days later, Oscar allegedly arrives at the house with a newly purchased pressure cleaner and a five litre container of petrol. Police claim they find what appears to be blood-stained carpet in the hallway. Mariam's body has never been found and while Toby remains in prison awaiting trial, two months ago Oscar Newman convinced the Supreme Court to free him on bail despite concerns by police that if released he could try to further conceal or even move Mariam's body. What did you think of that? It made me sick in my stomach. The judge ruled there wasn't an unacceptable risk and any risk could be managed with bail conditions, including a curfew and ongoing psychiatric treatments. I think that was a joke. That was a slap in the face to me and my mum, yeah, no, to everyone. Was... The Hampkers are now on a crusade to change the law, starting an online petition demanding no bail for an accused when a victim's body has not been found. No body, no bail. That's how I feel. I'm wanting to achieve more signatures and to make sure people don't get let out on bail. They've also backed calls for domestic violence offenders and people on bail facing serious charges to be fitted with GPS trackers. Who knows what he's doing? He could be doing anything right now. They don't know. We're the ones struggling, suffering. Months before her disappearance, Marianne was allegedly violently attacked by Toby on multiple occasions while he was on bail for another offence. Nothing happened about it. Nothing. Police only laid charges after she went missing in a case that's also now before the courts. As soon as your loved one is, is gone, that it's all about the perpetrator. And we are a very distant last. John Heron has walked the same agonising path as the Hamkers, but unlike them, he has a place to visit his daughter Courtney, who was beaten to death in a Melbourne park in 2019. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Since then, he's become a fierce voice for change, a lawyer by trade who's now representing Mariam's family. It frustrates us that nothing is really done until the next young woman turns up dead. It's going to keep happening and happening. It's never going to stop and nothing's going to happen about it. I know it's never going to be easy either way, but what would it mean to be able to bring Mariam home? I want to find my daughter just to put her in rest and peace, you know. We just really wanted to put her to rest. That's the least they deserve.